If you are looking to gamify your class and provide students badges, what's one way that you could do it is use a Google Jam. In Google Jam, you can put the badges on the Jam page and cover them up, and then when students accomplish or achieve the badge, you simply need to remove the cover-up. So you would share the Jam with them in view access and just update it from there so you get a nice display visually of the badges that they've been awarded. So I've created alicekeeler.com slash badge grid. alicekeeler.com slash badge grid is going to prompt you to make a copy. Now it does take a little bit of time for the code to load. So you'll notice up in the add-ons menu you will find the make badges on there but it can take up to a minute for that to load. So you're going to go ahead and click Make Badge Grid where it will ask you to authorize. Now it will give you a warning that it is not approved by Google and that is correct. I have not submitted it. It is an unofficial add-on but it's safe. It doesn't do anything other than add slides to your Google Sites. It doesn't access anything else. It certainly doesn't collect any user data. After authorizing the add-on, you'll notice that it's going to add a slide on the side where it creates this grid of circles and the colors are randomized. So if you don't like those colors, just go back up to this menu that I have up here or go to the add-ons menu, same thing, and make badge grid. And you'll see that it's going to do this every time I select it. And so when you're happy with the color selection, what you want to do is create a badge out of each one of the circles. So I'm going to come here to insert image. I'm going to choose search the web. I'm going to do star. I'm going to do type clip art. All right, that looks like a fun one. So I put a star on this badge. Make that a little bit bigger. I can use my Bitmoji to make some badges. If you're into doing Bitmoji, I just dragged it straight from the Bitmoji Chrome extension. I'm going to come back here to images. I'm going to search the web and get a pencil. Oh, that's a fun looking guy. Uh oh. Oh no, that one's good. If they have a white background, I delete it. I like to get ones that have a transparent background, so that one sound, looks pretty good. I'm going to search the web. This time I'm going to find a book. And yeah, see how this one has a white background? That's no good, so delete. And I'm going to search the web, get a different book one that's hopefully transparent. So that looks cute. Uh oh, another white background. I mean, you can, but kind of, it's better to have a transparent background. How about this stack of books? Those are pretty cute. There we go, a nice stack of books. And if you want, you could use insert and do word art. I can add this word art. I'm going to change the font on the word art. I am going to fill it in lime green and I'm going to grab the corner to make it bigger. So I can put this superstar in there. So you're going to want to go ahead and put the clip art or text or bitmoji on all 25 or how many do I have on there? Uh, I have six times four, so there's 24 different badges that you can put on the grid. So once you've got it all designed, so let's pretend that I've finished, we'll do file and download, and we're gonna download it as a JPEG image. So I go download the JPEG image, and you notice it's gonna come down here to the downloads bar. So I'm gonna leave that there, and then I'm gonna make a jam.new, so a new Google Jamboard jam. Once it loads, I set the background, choose to upload it, and when I'm in the upload, I can actually drag it right from the bottom here in the downloads bar into the upload. So you can see I now have a really nice looking background. It's all locked down on the background. They don't move, and I'm going to come over here to the shapes tool. I'm going to make a square. And when I make my square, I'm going to cover up the badge, and I want a white 
fill and a white border. And what that's going to do for me is now the badge disappears. So I'm going to control D duplicate and hide the badge. Control D duplicate, control D duplicate, control D duplicate. So I would go through and hide them all. Now, when you share this with a student, I would share it with them with view access only so they can see what their progress is and what they have accomplished without being able to do it themselves. So if you want to award this student this particular badge, you simply just delete the white square to show what they have done.